So the guys over at Vivify reached out and sent me the USB Type-A 2 Type-C gaming USB cable that actually lights up. So at first, I kind of thought this thing actually had like RGB lighting and I'm very sorry to say that it doesn't, but it is available in different LED color options. So basically just like, you know, one color that you choose. The one we have here today is red. However, they also have it in blue, purple, orange, and green. So you get a couple color options, but I'm really surprised that they didn't release this in like, you know, an actual RGB version, like, why? Well, like nearly there, just, you know, add like a multicolor LED. Maybe like it wasn't possible or it would consume too much power or they would sacrifice too many features if they actually made it RGB. I don't know the reasoning behind making it not RGB. Maybe like they thought it would be stupid or something, but I would have liked an RGB USB Type A to Type C cable. I don't know about you guys. But first, a quick message from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. I'm sure most of you have heard about Raid already, but for those of you that don't know, Raid is a turn-based fantasy role-playing game that's actually rated in the top five RPG games in the Google Play Store. Raid is absolutely free to play with over 400 different champions to collect and customize. And on top of that, the game has now been released on PC and has support for cross-device playing, meaning you can play with the same character on both your mobile device and on PC. I low-key kind of wish I was using something like the Razer phone with its 120Hz screen to play Raid Shadow Legends as the graphics on this game are actually pretty damn good. So what are you waiting for? Click on the special link in the video description down below and you'll get a ton of free in-game items including 100,000 silver, 2 clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards and an awesome free champion, the Executioner. However, bear in mind that this package is only going to be available for the next 30 days. But nevertheless, this is a gaming USB cable that is genuinely good. So it is USB 3.2 speeds, meaning 10 gigabit, pretty damn quick. And on top of that, you get quick charge 3.0 support. So not only do you get a light up cable that can support 10 gigabit speeds, but on top of that, it also can charge your devices pretty damn quick whilst also lighting the entire cable up and looking very nice whilst it's doing all that. So I have already unboxed the cable as at first uh, I legit recorded this entire video thinking that this cable has RGB lighting as the previous Vivify cable that I checked out on the channel. I don't know if you guys saw that video. If you haven't, i uh, pressing the card somewhere on the screen right now to go watch my unboxing and you know me setting up their RGB, like actually RGB, HDMI cable. That is called the Arcus W73 and it is absolutely amazing. It's a fiber optic 4K 18 gigabit per second like RGB gaming HDMI cable. It's just the best. It looks absolutely beautiful. You can change the color to like whatever you want or you can set it to an RGB mode uh, so it just basically cycles through a bunch of different colors for you which is what I've done in my setup. Let me show you and then I have a little announcement as well. Uh, you guys can win one too because we're doing a giveaway so i'll talk about that in a second but this rgb hdmi cable you've probably seen it uh, in many of my videos already but it's always kind of peeking out here and as you can see it's currently changing colors so it's a very nice hdmi cable and you definitely need one in your life and one of you, one lucky viewer, will end up with an RGB HDMI cable. So if you guys want to enter my giveaway of the Arcus W73, I'll leave a link in the description down below to the Instagram post where this giveaway is pretty much hosted. All you gotta do is follow me, follow Vivify on Instagram, and tag a friend in the comments and you're entered to win. Giveaway winner will be announced on March 1st, so best of luck to all of you. Be sure to enter the giveaway because you absolutely need an RGB HDMI cable. Trust me, if you win this, you're gonna be so pleased because this is genuinely a very, very nice HDMI cable that you can use in like your living room setup, your gaming setup, anywhere, man. It's sick. But today's video is all about Vivify's brand new product, their gaming Type-A to Type-C cable. So this one's called the Acers, As, Axo, Axo W10. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know how to say that. But regardless, it's a pretty darn nice cable. So let me give you guys a bit of a closer look at what we're dealing with here, as I'm currently using it right now to charge my Razer pods or you know the Razer Hammerhead true wireless earbuds 
that really have like way too long of a name. These really should have just been called like the Razor Pods or something. But uh, yeah, here they are nevertheless, and they're charging up via Type-C. So uh, thank God this is actually a Type-C cable and not like micro USB. Like I genuinely wish I could use this cable to charge my headset. But the guys over at Razer released this, you know, mega expensive high-end wireless gaming headset, and they chose to use a micro USB cable to charge the freaking headphones. Do you know how annoying it is to plug in this headset to charge every single time? Because the battery life on these absolutely sucks, especially if you enable the hypersense mode, like GG to your battery life. Enjoy a couple hours of listening and they're gonna die. So you pretty much have to plug these in like every other day or every couple days. I now tend to kind of avoid using hypersense mode, even though it is absolutely amazing. Um, but the battery life just gets absolutely wrecked. So yeah, when listening to music, I kind of just stick to, you know, the normal mode because battery life absolutely sucks. But yeah, they freaking used micro USB on this headset, which is absolutely stupid. Mainly for the fact that like it's non-reversible. Micro USB is non-reversible and you know the USB connection on this headset is just in such an annoying place and you gotta like plug it in. But if they would have used USB Type-C on their headset I could be using Vivify's lovely light up red cable right here to charge them. But instead they didn't so I'm gonna use it to charge my Razer pods instead. But uh, yeah it is genuinely a pretty sick cable. It's USB Type-A so uh, this is how the other end looks like, in case you didn't know what USB type A was. It's basically like the normal USB connector that you are used to, but it supports USB 3.2 speeds, but it's a USB 3.2 cable, so 10 gigabit speeds are always welcome. And on top of that, it will charge your devices pretty damn quick, dude, as it is Quick Charge 3.0 certified, and the moment you plug this end into a power source, uh, this could be, you know, anything really, so I do have a uh, USB like hub right here. So the moment I'm gonna plug this guy in, it's immediately going to light up and of course, you know, begin charging whatever device is on the other end. Even if the cable isn't plugged into anything on the other end, the other end being the USB Type-C connection, it still lights up as well, which is always nice. So even in the dark, you will find your cable no matter what. So I might actually like put this in my bedroom, but then again, I'm not sure about that. I think I'd much rather keep this light up cable in the gaming setup where it kind of belongs after all, it is a gaming cable, you know, a gaming USB cable, wow. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna probably keep this in the setup, but I genuinely need to find like a better use for it because I did try to power my RGB Razer wireless charger as that luckily supports USB Type-C, but it only seems to want to work when it's powered by Razer's power brick, which um, uh, you can maybe just see, yeah, right there. There is Razer's power brick and it only works if I plug Razer's Type-C to Type-C cable into the power brick and then into the wireless charger, of course. So like, it's, it's very annoying because at first I did try to make this, um, you know, light up LED cable from Vivify work with that wireless charger, but Razer's wireless charger was like, nope, nope, I ain't gonna do it, nope. Like it lit up, but then if you put your phone on it, it just wouldn't charge your phone anymore. And uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of you know a wireless charger if it refuses to charge your phone afterwards so yeah it's not the fault of the cable by any means like this is not the fault of vivify's rgb cable this cable i'm sure is more than freaking powerful enough to you know power that that charger is that this charger literally refuses to work with anything except razor's own power brick like bruh and uh, razor really missed out on like a big opportunity here this wireless charger like legit has sick RGB lighting, like don't get me wrong, but it doesn't sync up with Razer Synapse. Why? This thing costs 100 pound, like I know it sounds insane, like why would anyone pay 100 pound for a wireless charger? But you know, it's, it's Razer and if you're, if you're someone like me and you love RGB and you love Razer, uh, you know, you might drop 100 pound on a wireless charger that lights up. But uh, yeah, I really don't know why it doesn't sync up with Razer Synapse, like why? Please, please make this a feature, or if you ever release, you know, like a V2, um, please ensure that it syncs up with Razer Synapse, because, like, I'd love to control this thing with everything else. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, I suppose, because, like, in my case, like, everything's just pretty much set to, like, rainbow modes. I say that was the keyboard was actually set to a purple mode there, but, uh, yeah, now it's, now it's all rainbows, but, yeah, I do really need to find, like, a way better use case 
for this USB Type-C cable from Vivify because I want to use it somewhere and I want to see it, I want to show it off. But like, where, where do I plug it in? Like there's not enough devices out there that even take advantage of USB Type-C. Like I wish I could charge my iPhone with them, but uh, you know, Apple refused to switch to Type-C and continues to stick to freaking lightning. So I'm just like stuck here like, I want to use this cable, but like, for what? <laughs> What do I use it for? So if you want to go pick these up for yourself, they're pretty damn nice, man. Uh, like they genuinely feel like high quality cables. Like if you buy, if you buy a cable from Vivify, you won't be disappointed. Your bank account will be, uh, definitely. And just before we end the video, uh, I should probably mention a few other little things. So as you can see, the brightest part of the cable is of course coming from where, you know, the power source is. So there's basically like a beam of light that shines from where the power source is. And you know, it just keeps going all the way till the end. Hence why this cable is probably only one meter long to kind of ensure that, you know, even one meter later, like the cable's still lighting up pretty damn bright. So if I put these side by side like this, you can see the bottom one is where, you know, the power source is and that's where it's the brightest. And even one meter later, like it's still pretty decently bright, but you know, the bottom one is obviously significantly brighter. So they actually did a pretty damn good job with the brightness levels of this thing. Uh, it is currently like nearly sunset and the sun, you know, is kind of beginning to set. So it's going to get pretty damn dark in this room. But yeah, just a quick little video showing off this fancy new Vivify cable that's been sent to me. And I definitely want more of these. It's just like, I need more Type-C devices. That is absolutely a must. Like Razer, please release like a Nari V2, like a Nari Ultimate V2 with Hypersense again. Just make sure to use a Type-C cable so I can charge it with one of these. Now, if that ever happens, I'll definitely ask Vivify or I'll buy one myself, uh, like a green light up cable to charge Razer's headset. Cause you know, Razer and green, like that'll be a very nice little combo there. And uh, Vivify will hopefully maybe release like another version of this sometime in the future. I really hope they do. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they will cause I have no idea, but I hope they release like a V2 that actually has RGB just like the HDMI cables do, because the HDMI cables, you know, are legit RGB cables and you can change the color to whatever you want. They're beautiful. And I really wish that this cable would also come with like, you know, changeable LED lighting. That is a must. So if they ever release a V2, please make it RGB. I definitely want to feature an RGB Type-C cable on the channel. And like, I legit had to re-record this video because I recorded it like once already me thinking that this cable had RGB and I was trying to play around with like the lighting effects and I was trying like different things. I'm like, how do you make it like go RGB? How do you change the colors on this thing? But unfortunately you can't. Very sad, very sad, but it is a sick cable nevertheless. So apart from that guys, enter the giveaway down below to the Vivify RGB HDMI cable as you definitely want this thing. Apart from that though guys, thank you all so much for watching and massive shout out to the guys over at Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. You can download the game at the top of the video description. All right, hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.